Hi, Julian here, and I'm uh, going to talk a little bit about collage and montage, show you some examples of the work by artists, um, some examples uh, that architects have done um, in the field, and also um, a few examples um, worked up by students. Starting off, a uh, very simple example here by Jean Arp, uh, um, cut out um, uh, squares, rectangles of paper, card, um, different colours and textures, so very much about exploring serendipity, seeing what emerges and studying, uh, looking closely at, at what, what's been worked up. So very much about working with the medium um, to see what emerges. Another example here, this is by Kutch Fitters using fragments, boards, papers um, and found objects as well. We've got a, a ticket uh, there. Um, so again, working serendipitously, working with chance, but also looking at what emerges. So very much about doing and then reflecting afterwards. Very different example here, um, one by Max Ernst using um, illustrations from books cut out and uh, juxtaposed, so working with the surreal quality of what emerges. Some examples by Robert Rauschenberg uh, um, using, uh, in a more fluid way, using um, uh, paint, um, transferring um, images from magazines and newspapers using solvent onto the paper um, and also using um, uh, um, fragments themselves of newspapers, magazines and um, um, textured coloured papers. So by using the solvent he was able to um, um, actually uh, uh, um, melt or kind of uh, dissolve um, the, the inks on, on the paper. So um, again, using paint, but also using the the dissolved uh, um, sol uh, the uh, dissolved ink um, of, from the fragments, newspaper fragments that he that he incorporated. So these are very much about um, spaces to dream and spaces to engage with. So very they're very um, uh, full of possibility, creative possibilities. Um, this one very very simple, using uh, um, an image and then then the 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 negative of the image enlarged, the, the two of them working together to create something very striking, a new kind of form emerges. Now some examples by architects. This is one uh, made by Miss van der Rohe, um, who um, did a lot of work using very simple collage, um, either on just white paper or sometimes in a, in a in the context of an existing building. So here we've got just um, three or uh, four planes of uh, coloured paper, one of them is textured, um, and a, a photograph of a sculpture. So reframes, re reworks the existing scene, which is this large um, hangar space. This is an example um, from Alison and Peter Smithson, the architects who designed the solar pavilion for themselves, the one the project that we looked at in the first, um, uh, first project. Um, here, um, they um, are developing a design for a housing estate on a, uh, on a bomb damaged site in near the city of London. And uh, what they've done here is they've taken a photograph of the site and they've drawn directly over the top of it. So they've really um, used the idea of a phoenix like uh, building emerging from, from, from the ruins. So, very, very simple, very direct freehand line, um, existing photograph of the site edited and cut, cut down. Um, so the, the, the part of the distance that the, the existing buildings have been removed, um, but also um, magazine images of people have been, in, been introduced. They're actually um, celebrities or uh, figures um, uh, in the news at the time. An example from Paris, um, an architect uh, called Constant who was interested in these sort of uh, um, landscapes above the cities which, which people could inhabit. So here just drawing directly over a postcard uh, using a um, using a pen, using a felt tip pen, and another example of his using paint um, of uh, of the Champs Elysees with this new structure over the top of it. So very powerful, very direct, very simple way of um, of, of, of kind of uh, drawing out a what if um, moment. This is an example um, by a group of um, Italian architects called uh, Super Studio. Um, here they've used a photographic um, used uh, magazine images of um, of tourist uh, tourist uh, destinations, and they've um, superimposed them with their own architectural vision. 
very simply using cut out paper and coloured pencil. And they've used the coloured pencil to um, to create the uh, reflections in the in the lake in the foreground. Another example of theirs. Um, here, the lines have just been drawn directly onto the image. This is an example of um, of a group of Austrian architects um, working directly with um, uh, a perspective of, of a proposal and collaging, or rather, sort of montaging um, that into into location simply by cutting out. Um, cutting a gap in, in, in the existing buildings. Um, another example by an Austrian by Hans Hollein, it's called Airship Carrier in the American Wheat Field. So working with scale, playing with scale, as he does here with this rock, uh, rock landscape in Vienna, and this one for um, a monument, a war memorial, um, which I think is, I think it's an electrical component, I can't quite remember what it is. Anyway, um, um, upturned, and um, he's again played with the scale of it and uh, um, used pencil artwork to kind of merge the two. An example from an architectural practice for a, a grass landscape. So the green is just collaged into, into the existing photograph. Um, here we've got um, the um, installation 2020, the oil installation. Sarchi Gallery is in the original location and it's a um, collage showing the relationship between the reflected roof light, which has been cut out and placed in the image, and the reflection of it in the oil below. So that again is a fragment of a photograph that's been introduced. And some examples of student work. So very simply taking an image of an existing location. Here it was um, um, an alleyway in Borough, and collaging in some figures. They don't quite sort of match, but the idea of transforming this landscape creating other secret spaces in and off and behind it was the, was the starting point. This one was about um, a, a student project about um, a group of um, uh, individuals who trawl the shoreline of the River Thames to collecting um, fragments, fragments and found objects. Things have been washed up by the tide and washed down by the currents and they uh, have this ramp that they can carry their boat up. So very simple photograph, pencil work, um, some cut out fragments placed in of the fishermen, the boat, and the ramp. A more complete work here um, it's, uh, um, some little uh, kiosks uh, next to a railway viaduct. And this one was just about working up the relationship between a factory on the one side of a glass screen and another uh, space in the foreground. So, very simple beginning using the white paper, the space of the white paper to. Um, to deal with the fact that very little is known really at that point, at the point that the, the work has been created. So there we go. Um, very briefly, a few examples um, to get you working, get you inspired, um, and just kind of source ideas for your own collage work. Thanks.